Good morning, my friends. I have awesome news. There are new programs that you can receive extra stimulus relief money starting next month. Our lawmakers from both parties are now urging that the Biden administration send out more stimulus payments. Lawmakers have proposed a new set of qualifications that Americans have to meet in order to claim a check. Friends, please remember that I'm here every single day to share with you everything that you need to know about the next round of stimulus checks. I am 100% committed to being your daily advocate for more stimulus aid. I want to help all seniors, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries as much as I can during this crisis. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news. Also, if you are interested in entering this Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please stay tuned until the end of this video. Thank you so much, friends. We have an opportunity ahead of us right now, the House and Senate, the United States Congress and the United States Senate are working out a bill that's going to provide an extra $90 billion for research and development, manufacturing all the elements of the supply chain needed to produce the end products. This will help create more partnerships like the ones you have right here in Mill 19. Secretary Raimondo, former governor of Rhode Island, she's been helping lead this effort. She knows what it takes. And my expectation is this will continue to be a bipartisan effort, God willing, just like the infrastructure law. And by the way, regarding the infrastructure law, we brought together Democrats and Republicans, being led by Senator Casey and Senator Lamb and other members of your delegation here, the Democrats, along with Republicans, to do something about infrastructure. Now, just 74 days after signing that law, we're already making tangible differences for highways, ports, airports, rail, high-speed internet, clean air, clean water. That includes $1.6 billion over the next five years for Pennsylvania to repair its bridges. As I said earlier, there are more than 3,300 bridges across Pennsylvania and over 7,500 miles of highway in poor condition. It also means jobs, replacing lead water pipes, so families in 10 million homes and in 400,000 schools and child care centers can drink clean water, not lead-based. Jobs. So President Biden has already signed several executive orders, many of which have helped millions of Americans that were financially struggling. So now many of our lawmakers have agreed that Biden could take more action for the American people right now. One lawmaker, that strongly advocates for more stimulus checks is House Representative Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. She has told reporters many times that she believes President Biden has the power to do a lot more. While the House of Representatives has already passed President Biden's $2 trillion Build Back Better framework, marking a significant advancement in Democrats' economic agenda, New York Representative Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez says she is not celebrating just yet. During an interview with New York Times, Orcasio Cortez said, There is an enormous amount of executive action that they're sitting on that I think is underutilized. On student loans, on stimulus checks, we've got executive action on the table. With respect to climate, there are certainly things that we can do. Opposition from centrist Democratic holdouts Senators Joe Manchin and Kristen Sneema have forced Democrats to think about scaling down what was once a $3.5 trillion social spending package. This could mean leaving climate measures like the Clean Electricity Payment Program and Free Community College out. However, Representative Ocasio-Cortez criticized those possible cuts to the bill, informing the New York Times that the past six months were spent watching us just hand the pen to Joe Manchin and Chris and Sinema, while Biden could have used his executive authority to progress his agenda himself. So friends, 
Do you think that President Biden should take executive action and get more stimulus relief checks passed? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. House Representative Pramilia Jayapal has also said that some of the goals of the Build Back Better bill, such as prescription pricing and climate change, could be achieved through executive action by President Biden. The representative for Washington, who's also the leader of the House Progressive Caucus, rejected calls to immediately cut off climate change elements of the much delayed $1.75 trillion Build Back Better package in an effort to get it passed. Jayapal also told Newsweek that the landmark spending bill is now the focus for the Democratic Party. She stated that the goal for the next coming weeks is to get as many of the Build Back Better goals as they can into a bill that passes the Senate. The great news, friends, is that President Biden has already said that Congress is very close to reaching an agreement on the bill. Friends, the keyword for this video is keyboard. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. Comment below this keyword and other keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Several other legislators are putting together proposals that would get certain portions of the Build Back Better bill passed as separate measures. Representative Jim McGovern is among those who helped get the Build Back Better in its original form, passed in the House last year. McGovern is among those in Congress who have said that compromise can be reached in Washington and pointed to last year's bipartisan infrastructure law as an example. The infrastructure bill was originally part of the Build Back Better bill but was eventually separated and passed on its own with broad Republican support. Representative McGovern also stated, I think it is hopeful that there are some things we can agree on. Passing parts of the bill is something even those who voted against the House passed version of the Build Back Better bill say they will consider. Representative Jared Golden is one of those lawmakers. Jared Golden is one of those reporters that said he could not support the president's proposal initially, but believes there is a path forward, especially for passing a bipartisan measure to reduce prescription costs. Representative Golden also added, he knows of some Republicans who are open to working on the legislation. So friends, this is very good news. We can definitely expect to see an agreement reach very soon. Well, my good friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who has joined me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you. Please do me a huge favor and share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Wednesday.